vacancy this morning. We'll send things over to Ron Smiley. And Ron, you still could see some slick conditions, especially on the untreated side roadways out there. Yeah, you certainly can. And you know, I'm a little surprised that 79 is doing the best this morning when it comes uh, to uh, traffic because that's one of the areas that probably saw a little bit more in the way of snow than everyone else. So some good news there. Now I will say uh, we'll get this out of the way. We want to uh, just start you off with the winter weather advisory that's in effect for eastern or should say westward facing slopes of the Laurel Highlands and just north of uh, I 80 as well. Uh, we do have some uh, snow that continues to slide in from the northwest and some of those pockets right on top of places like Monroeville that we're looking at and this is going to encompass the uh, Parkway East and including you can see the Gascola area there, Churchill uh, neighborhood, the Wilkins. These are communities that are dealing with some decent snow this morning. Uh, probably not just uh, probably just uh, enough uh, to put a light dusting in some of these areas down right around the White Oak area. Eden Park as well. We continue to see some snow coming in. And then over around Black Hawk, Ohioville, and the Ohio View area, we continue to monitor some snow coming in as well uh, with these uh, spots that we continue to see. Uh, so we will be looking at some snow showers possible over the course of the day today. Uh, from now on through 7 o'clock, the uh, chance for snow will come uh, because of lake effect snow that's coming in off of Lake Erie. You can see a couple of those little spots, one right on top of Pittsburgh, and then it extends over to around the Cleveland area. We're starting to see just a little bit right here uh, that snow starting to fill in so we'll watch closely there as all of that continues to move our way it's 29 now yeah we have back uh, the uh, light snow falling at the Pittsburgh Airport it's not heavy snow but it is some light snow that's falling wind out of the northwest it's picked up since the last time we saw it at 12 miles an hour our afternoon wind speeds will be between 10 to 20 miles an hour. So you factor that in with temperatures already into the 20s. It is going to feel very cold outside and the dew point coming in at 25. The barometer 30 and 6 hundredths of an inch. Here's a look at temperatures generally right at or just below the 30 degree mark is what we're seeing in a high temperature today. We've already hit that 34 degrees. Rest of the day will actually be into the 20s is what it looks like at this point. I want to quickly just show you those temperatures and show you the uh, temperatures slowly falling especially as we're heading into the afternoon. We get that blast of cold air that's lagging behind, but it'll be here before you know it. There's your seven day 34, your uh, high temperature today, but once again, we've already seen that 28, your Wednesday high, and then back to around 40 degrees for high temperature. Still well below the seasonal average for this time of the year, but at least we'll be around the 40 degree mark for high starting on Thursday.